On to the Capitol Watch now. There's a new version of legislation that would add requirements to the Medicaid expansion law that voters passed last November. One of those changes deals with the number of hours some people would be required to work in order to qualify for coverage under the Medicaid program. KTVB's Joey Prechtel is in our studio tonight. He's been following this all day for us, Joey. And a similar bill just introduced earlier this month. That's right, Brian, but this one is a little different. Now, that older bill would have required people to work at least 30 hours a week. This one cut it down to just 20 hours a week, but even with that change, the bill still has its critics. The chair votes aye. The motion passes and RS 27132 shall be introduced. With that vote, legislation that would require people to work to qualify for health care under Medicaid moves on. It's similar to a bill Representative John Vanderwoude introduced earlier this month. This changes the work requirement from 30 hours a week to 20 hours a week. That isn't the only change he's proposing. It would also force some people to stay on the state exchange instead of having Medicaid. This will ask them for a waiver so that everybody from 100 to 138 percent is on the exchange and has the option of buying a, uh, a sub, uh, insurance policy that is subsidized by the federal government. The 100 to 138 percent is referencing the poverty level. If the federal government denied that waiver, that group of people could opt in for Medicaid next year. The bill has its critics, including Representative Alana Rubel. And that I do feel that this is still um, very much flying in the face of what the voters expressed. We claim Idaho Executive Director Rebecca Schroeder says these restrictions aren't what voters approved in November. We oppose these kind of restrictions. It is discouraging to see that, you know, the voices of the citizens weren't incorporated in a, in a real way into this new piece of legislation. But Representative Van der Wouda says these sorts of requirements are necessary. So it's a responsibility thing, I think, of, of trying to make sure that how we implement any government program, we implement it responsibly and physically sound. Now, the bill also lists people who are exempted from that work requirement if you're under 19 years old or if you're physically or mentally unable to work or if you're a parent with a child under 18. Those are just some of the exemptions in this bill. Now, Representative Van Der doesn't know if this new bill will get the vote it needs to actually pass. He told me today he thinks the Health and Welfare Committee may send it to the full House without a recommendation. Normally, they attach a due pass recommendation with it. A hearing is scheduled to take place Wednesday morning. We claim Idaho told me today they plan on packing that meeting just like they did the last one that would put in these sideboards.